Good morning, kids. It is Tuesday, April 6th, and today we are going to continue talking about decimals and rounding decimals. So let's take a look. I'm just going to give you the example here of 37 point, uh, let's go with 37.6, all right? So if I tell you to round this number to the nearest whole number, what am I talking about here, all right? First, let's make sure we know what a whole number is, okay? These are our friends, one, two, three, okay? I'm sure we know how to count by whole numbers, all right? Um, so we can keep going on and on. So first I need to figure out 37.6 is between which two whole numbers, okay? Well, 37.6 is more than 37, and it is less than 38. All right, so once again, it's between 37 and 38. How can I figure out which one it is closer to? All right, well, let's once again, let's take a look at exactly halfway. 37.5 is right in the middle here. All right, and I'm gonna switch colors. So if I'm dividing this into decimals, uh, let's take a look here. This number here is 37.1. 37.2, 37.3, 37.4, here's 37.5, and this should be 37.6, 37.7, 37.8, 37 37.9, and finally we will reach 38, or 38.0, okay? Same thing. So, which is this closer to? Well, as we can see, 37.6 is nearer to 38. So if I am rounding it to the nearest whole number, I would round it to 38, okay? It is closer. Anything 37.5 or above, we will round up. Anything lower than that, we will round down, all right? Now let me give you a different example. All right, I don't want to erase everything. So let's say I give you the example uh, 37.45. All right, so this has two decimal points. However, make sure we understand. All right, once again, this is more than 37. Okay, it's 37 and some extra bits. We've got 0.45 extra. How much extra do we have? Four tenths and five hundredths, all right? So this, even though it's got two decimal points, this is still less than 37.5 here, okay? 37.45 is gonna fall somewhere in here, okay? So um, if we are rounding to the nearest whole number, I would round this number down, okay? And the way we figure this out, we want to look at our numbers on the left first, okay? Obviously, we know where 37 is. Then I have four tenths here. So this is 37.4, this line right here. Okay, this is 37.5, 37.45 is right in between them, okay? So this is less than halfway. In this case, if I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, I would round down. Now, many of us are having trouble with this. Just make sure you pay attention to what the book is asking you, all right? Sometimes they ask you to round to one decimal point or the nearest tenth. Other times they tell you to round to the nearest two decimal points or the nearest hundred. All right, so let's check out exactly what we're doing here. I am on page uh, 60 and 61. I take that back, maybe 61 and 62. 
Yes, sorry, I'm on page 61 here. And this is from section five, which should be, I'm sorry, section four, should be labeled pink. This is your math workbook. All right, so let's check out exactly what they want us to do here. Once again, uh, now I have 35.3. We want to round that to the nearest whole number. So 35.3 is between which two whole numbers? It is more than 35 and less than 36. So I'm going to put 35 over here. As we can see, 35 is down on this side and 36 is over here. And then we have 35.5 in the middle. So where is 35.3? Okay. This line is 35.1, 35.2, 35.3, 35.4, 35.5. So we've already found that 35.3 is right here. All right, so let's check it out. 35.3 is between 35 and 36. Those are the two whole numbers that it is between. Then I can see from my number line here that 35.3 is nearer to 35 than to 36. All right, so if we are rounding, we want to round to 35. 35.3 is 35 when rounded to the nearest whole number. All right, let's keep going. 1B. All right. Now I want to round to one decimal place. Make sure we understand this. We had a lot of trouble with this yesterday in class because you kids kept trying to round the whole numbers. We want to round to one decimal place. All right. Here we have two decimal places. So let's round to one decimal place. 7.56 is between what and what? All right. Well, if I'm rounding to one decimal place, I can just take off this six here. It's between 7.5 and 7.6. Let me cross my sevens. All right, and as we can see, uh, here's 7.55 in the middle, okay, 7.56 is more than that. So just because I feel like counting, this line here is 7.51, 7.52, 7.53, 7.54, this is 7.56 right here. I'm going to label that. All right, that way we can see which one it is nearer to. So it is between 7.5 and 7.6. All right, 7.56 is nearer to, all right, so it appears that we are one, two, three, four steps away from 7.6, and we are one, two, three, four, five, six steps away from 7.5. So it is nearer to 7.6 than to 7.5. So if I am rounding, I need to round up in this case, okay? Because this number is close to 7.6 here. So if I'm rounding to one decimal place, I'm going to round up. 7.56 is 7.6 when rounded to one decimal place. Once again, one decimal place means we have one number after the decimal point here. All right. Let's keep going. Also, I want to review uh, let's look at this number, 2.395, okay? Make sure we know what that means. Which number is in the ones place? Which number is in the tenths place? 
which is in the thousands place, all right? Here, two is in my ones column. I have two ones or two times one equals two. Next, this is the tenths column or the tenths place. I have three tenths here. Next, I have the hundredths place. This is nine hundredths. And finally, this is my thousandths place. I have five thousandths. All right, so now we want to round to two decimal places. Here you go. This is means two numbers after the decimal point. So uh, two decimal places means we are rounding to the nearest hundredth. So um, if I have two decimal places, let's figure out which two numbers this is between. It is between 2.3 nine, all right, because this number here is rounded if I just take this five off here. And then on the other side, I have two, oopsie, not three, two point four zero. Okay, once again, we're rounding to two decimal places. All right, so um, we have 2.395. So let's figure out where that is. This number here is 2.39, 2.391, 2.392, 2.393, 2 2.394. Hey, this is 2.395 right in the middle. All right, so here it says 2.395 is exactly halfway between 2.39 and 2.40. All right, so what do we do in that case? Well, once again, if we have anything that is exactly halfway or more, we are going to round up. So if we're rounding to, <clears throat> um, if we are rounding to two decimal places, we want to round up to 2.40. And also 2.40 is the same as 2.4. However, when we round to two decimal places, we want to add that extra zero there, just to make sure we are nice and accurate. All right, let's keep going. Page 62. Problem number two, once again, make sure you know what it's asking you. It says round the following decimals to the nearest whole number. All right, so here I have 6.5, which is exactly halfway between six and seven. So once again, if we have something that is exactly halfway, we want to round up. All right, problem B, 19.2 is between 19 and 20, all right? However, it is nearer to 19. In this case, we would round down. Anything below 19.5, I'm gonna round down. Next, here they're trying to confuse you. They are giving you extra decimal places. However, we still want to round to a whole number, all right? So 20.09 is between 20 and 21. However, it is nearer to 20 than 21. Let's just take a look at the tenths place here. We have zero tenths. So this nine doesn't even matter. This number is very close to 20.1, all right? But it's not quite there. So yes, uh, we want to round down in this case to 20. Let's look at part D. Sorry, mosquito. Okay, we have 1.807. Once again, they are trying to confuse you with all these extra decimal places. Don't worry about them, all right? I'm just gonna cross those out and look at 1.8. So uh, 1.807 is between one and two. However, we know that 1.8 is much closer to two, all right? Let's keep going. Now we want to round to one decimal place, meaning we are rounding to the nearest tenth here. So I'm going to look at my number in the tenths place, tenths 
0 0.62 is between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. So it is nearer to 0 0.6. So I'm going to round down. Six, 0 0.65 is halfway between. So 0 0.62, we want to round down. Next, I have 1.97, right? 1.97 is between 1.9 and 2.0. However, it is more than 1.95, so I'm going to round up to 2.0. All right, let us see. 3.056 is between 3.0 and 3.1. However, all these extra things over here tell me I need to round up to 3.1. Next number, oh, I'm sorry, letter D, 7.135. Once again, I'm just looking at my number in the tenth place because it allowed me to one decimal point. This number is between 7.1 and 7.2. Okay, so. Uh, 7.15 is right in the middle. So 7.135 is going to be rounded down to 7.1. All right, let's keep going. Number four. All right, now it says round the following to two decimal places, meaning I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to check out my number in the hundredths place. Here we have 0 0.431. Okay, so uh, this number is between 0 0.43 and 0 0.44. Okay, however, it is much closer or nearer to 0 0.43. All right, once again, we're rounding to two decimal places. So 5.827 is between 5.82 and 5.83, okay? 5.285 and up, we want to round up. So 5.287, is more, so I'm going to round up to 5.83. All right, let's keep going. 2.092 is between 2.09 and 2.10, or 1.0, sorry. So this number here, uh, 2.092 is nearer to 2. Point zero nine. All right. If I had two point nine five or more, then I would round up to two point one zero. Next, six point five two five. All right. We have six point five two five is between six point five two and six point five three, and it is exactly halfway between. So I'm going to round up here to 6.53. All right. Next, fill in the blank. A bottle contains 825.4 milliliters of water. Round the volume of the water to the nearest milliliter, okay? So that means my nearest whole number here. So um, 8.25, I'm sorry, 825.4 is between 825 and 826 milliliters. However, this 0.4 tells me I need to round down here, okay? Um, if I had 8.255, Oh, I keep saying 8.2, 8, 825.5, uh, then I would round up. However, I have 0.4, so we're going to round to the nearest whole number, which is 825. All right, next it says the mass of a needle is 0 
0.586 grams. Round the mass of the needle to one decimal point. So that means one number after the decimal point. Okay, so I have 0 0.586. So if I'm rounding this to one decimal place, I need to get rid of this six and this eight, okay? Um, this number is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. However, this eight here tells me I need to round up. So I'm gonna round to 0 0.6. All right, next it says, Barry has bought a plastic sheet of length 3.705 meters, round the length of the plastic sheet to two decimal places. All right, so this means two numbers after the decimal point, which means I need to get rid of this five here, okay? So this number here, 3.705, is between 3.70 and 3.71, and it is exactly halfway between, so I should round up here going to round up to 3.71 meters. Number six, we're almost at the end. Round the following decimals to the nearest whole number, one decimal place and two decimal places. All right, so this is helpful uh, because we were having trouble with this. All right, make sure we understand whole number. Those are your friends. We know how to count those already, all right? If it says one decimal place, you are using the tenths column. If it says two decimal places, you are rounding to the nearest hundredth here. All right, so let's take a look at number one here. We have 4.199, all right? If I'm rounding to the nearest whole number, this is between four and five. However, it is much closer to four. All right, next, if I'm rounding to one decimal place, this means this number is between 4.1 and 4.2, all right? 4.9 means I need to round up to 4.2. All right, if I want to round to two decimal places, that means I need to get rid of this last nine. So this is between 4.19 and 4.20. I'm gonna round to 4.20. Two decimal places or the nearest hundred. And then my next number here, I have 7.934. All right, the nearest whole number, this is between seven and eight. However, 7.9 here, it is much closer to eight. I'm going to round up. All right, next I want to round to one decimal place. So this is between 7.9 and 8.0. All right, now let's look at this three here. It tells me I should round down to 7.9. And lastly, I want to round to two decimal places. Okay, so this number here is between 7.93 and 7.94. All right, but this four tells me I should round down to 7.93. Okay, just remember, kids. Um, Anything that is halfway or more, like if you see a five at the end there, uh, you probably want to round up. And anything lower than that, you want to round down. But make sure that you pay attention to what they're asking. Are they asking for a whole number, one decimal place, or two decimal places? Okay, because you can get different answers depending on how accurate you want to be. All right, kids, that is all for now. Um, I'll see you in class at 10.30 and 1 p.m. Make sure you wash your hands, stay safe, wear a mask, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.